So you have to be able to handle the volatility, but you're sticking with the equity call, though. I mean, you're not uh, you're not suddenly saying, well, we're getting these higher yields, so why don't you take that two and a half or three or whatever uh, percent on sovereigns or you know triple A or double A plus uh, credits and just uh, call it a day and don't be greedy. You're still full on uh, on equities. Uh well, yeah, I wouldn't say full on in equities. I mean, we, we, we are more positive in equities, uh, perhaps uh, relative to bonds. Uh, clearly, I mean, the, the economic environment is quite positive for equities. I mean, economic growth is picking up. Earnings growth is picking up as well. I mean, I was just looking at the earnings growth numbers coming out of analysts uh, in the last few weeks, and it's been upgraded quite significantly. I mean, the same thing happened last year, the beginning of last year. And what we saw uh, throughout the year was a 20% rally in equity markets. And, you know, we're seeing the same phenomenon. Uh, earnings are coming through. Uh, earnings are being revised. I, the key thing is this. If earnings meet expectations or exceed expectations as they did last year, then I think this uh, rally has more legs. But the difference this time around compared to last year is that you're going to see a lot more volatility. Last year, you never saw more than a 3% drawdown in the S&P 500 index. Uh, this year, I think, you know, you will have bouts of, uh, of drawdowns of more than 3%, I'm sure, uh, given the fact that markets are recalibrating the expectations about inflation interest rates. I mean, that's the difference between this year and last year. Right. What do you think the surprises are going to be uh, this year in ter terms of the outperforms, the uh, sort of sleeping giants, perhaps, that uh, people aren't thinking about enough? Well, you know, we have actually uh, an overweight call on Europe. I mean, if you put a chart of the MSCI Europe index against the a chart of the MSCI USA index, you see a very big performance over the last three to five years. So, uh, you know, we think that Europe could play catch up. Uh, the euro is getting stronger. The good news is that it's not so strong that will dent economic growth in Europe. So I think European equities, uh, they've been kind of ignored uh, to some extent in the last few years, and they could play catch up with the US, which has done exceptionally well. Asia, I think there's going to be a lot of volatility. It's clearly uh, over last, or if you pick a five-year period, again, Asia, like Europe, has underperformed uh, many other regions, and that's another region you have to keep an eye on. Uh, but it's a volatile region. You've got to be able to stomach that volatility.